On this Debaco University video, I'm going to go over alcohol or ethanol based extraction of cannabis to see if this is a method you should be considering for your operation. All right, let's go over alcohol or ethanol based extraction of cannabis. So first off, what's a general description of this method? Well, cannabis is thoroughly soaked and rinsed in 95 to 100% ethanol solution until sufficient breakdown of the solutes has occurred. We see it being placed right in here. The plant material is then removed from the mixture and the remaining solution can either be used in tinctures or is heated at precise temperature until the ethanol has evaporated. Once all the ethanol has evaporated, you are left with a dark tar-like substance rich in cannabinoids called the full extract cannabinoid oil. Oil. Uh, and we can see the general process represented um, here, kind of breaking down all of ethanol storage, ethanol vesicle, and collecting vesicle occurring here. Keep in mind though, as a reminder, ethanol alcohol is a highly flammable solution. So again, use with caution. What does one of these actually look like? I showed you kind of the general cartoon image. This is kind of showing the ethanol machine used for extraction and distillation. Bags of cannabis and ethanol can go right in here. We can see everything's kind of sealed and locked down, computer controlled. Um, very important to say cleanliness with the process, very important to have control over the process because as I said, this is a flammable product. So what is the resulting end product? Uh, well, the final product is of an alcohol-based extraction is the full extract ca uh, cannabis oil, a highly concentrated whole plant extract. This extract can test anywhere from 80 to 99% cannabinoids, depending on the quality of the extraction. Alcohol-based extraction can also be used to make tinctures with the alcohol solution filled with cannabinoids. That's another advantage of this method. Now, what, uh, what are some other advantages? Well, simply it's cost effective in large amounts. Alcohol extraction can pull a broader range of compounds from the plant than other extraction methods. It can be performed at atmospheric pressure, so it doesn't need anything really special. We do want to isolate it from you know, any sort of flame. And there's no risk of leaving uh, toxic residual chemicals in the final canvas extract. And these are part of the reasons why it can become so popular. However, keep in mind there are some disadvantages with this method, and those uh, do include the fact that there's a possibility of chlorophyll in the final product, which could uh, cause a little bit more of a bitter uh, taste to the end product. Ethanol is a much higher boiling point than other solvents, which could lead to a longer processing time. Post-processing is extensive. Several refinements must be made to the extract before it's consumer ready. And it can be extremely dangerous, as I mentioned, because it's a significant fire hazard, especially when used indoors with potential other heating elements and you know just the storage of the material in general. So all those must be taken into consideration if you're thinking about implementing this as part of your operation as you look at methods to extract your cannabis product.